chest? What happened to it? It used to be flat. What happened? Mom, I'm telling you, I just woke up this morning and it was bumpy. What happened? You promised me better genetics than this. You promised me. Well, sweetie, it's a genetic condition and you're gonna have a bumpy chest for the rest of your life. Dang it, Mom. Drats. Couldn't you have at least hooked me up with one of those braces a little bit earlier? Then it would have fixed it more. Now it's too late. I don't really care that much. The appearance, ah, the bumpiness, it's fine. It doesn't even bother me that much. It's more the posture. Well, honey bunny, I've got a couple of exercises you and your pigeon family can do to fix your posture. <laughs> Okay, Boomer, I'll take over from here. They subscribed to this channel and they liked this video for my special chest after all. The two main problems that you're gonna see with your posture because of pectus carinatum are gonna be the hunched shoulders, kyphosis, and anterior pelvic tilt, AKA the booty pop. Ugh, do you wanna look like this, guys? Some of these issues are structural and can't be changed at all. For example, my ribs are just more forward set on my hips, so it makes me more inclined to have that anterior pelvic tilt. Like, if you don't, don't know what I mean, it's like my chest and my ribs are more forward on my body. Because of that, my butt naturally goes back a little bit and my glutes are unengaged. We do the best we can to improve what we can and exercises can help a lot. So, the first exercise I'm gonna show is the wall sit. You just sit on the wall and you put your legs at a 90 degree angle and hold it there and it engages your glutes. For me personally, this exercise is a big weakness. I think it's because of as I said, my forward set ribs and the anterior pelvic tilt. Let me know in the comments if you have trouble with that exercise. I first noticed I was bad at that exercise when for hazing in a fraternity I was in, we were forced to wall sit over and over and I really struggled with that exercise. An anterior pelvic tilt is caused by a weakness in the abs, the glutes, and it's a tightness in the hip flexors right here at the front of your thigh and in a little bit of your back. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do is to stretch open these hip flexors and that will enable your hips to come forward more. So a great exercise for stretching your hip flexors and one that's pretty easy to do. You lunge down on one knee and then you take that leg and you hold onto that leg and you sit in that position and you sit there for a couple minutes to get that. You can also put that back leg onto a little stool like this one I have propped up here just to hold it for you and you sit like that and you can watch a video or do whatever. The next one that's really important and really helpful to do is the dead hang. So you may not have a bar in your home. You might have a ledge or a staircase nearby that you can do it on. If you don't have anything, I recommend getting a bar because it's really helpful in general. And also pull-ups are a great exercise for improving posture and for improving your physique anyway. If you have a bar you can use, you're gonna wanna do dead hangs as a stretch to fix that kyphotic hunch, hunchback look in your upper body. So you just, it's just as simple as it sounds. You just hold on to the bar and hang without even pulling up and try and do that as long as you can. Just as your anterior pelvic tilt is caused by certain muscles being too relaxed and not worked enough and then other ones being too tight and overworked. For example, in that one, your glutes and your abdomen are underworked and then your hip flexors and your back are too tight and, under, and overworked. 
um, with the kyphotic posture, there's a similar thing going on here. Your back is gonna be underworked and underdeveloped, and your chest is gonna be too tight and overworked. That's why doing a chest stretch is great to open that up and improve the kyphotic posture. Also doing stuff to develop your back, like pull-ups on the pull-up bar can help improve your kyphotic posture. So for this great stretch, you're gonna to wanna to put these two arms on opposite side of a, a 90 degree wall. And you're gonna put each arm at 90 degrees also. And you're just gonna lean into that. And it does a great stretch for those shoulders and your pecs. So I said a lot of words there and I gave a couple exercises, but now let's get practical here. If one day I'm feeling like my posture is just not good today, then this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cycle through those four workouts that I just shown. I'll be doing them uh, two minutes each while I watch a video or something. Watch my Oprah. And so, you know, squat down and do two minutes of the wall sit. And then after that's done, I will move over and go to the pull-up bar and do a dead hang for as long as I can, say a minute, minute 30. And then after that's done, I will come over here and into the wall, I will do this chest stretch into the corner. And then I will come over here and I will squat down and do this hip flexor stretch for two minutes on each leg. And then I'll just cycle right back through. And if you need anything else, if you wanna do anything else, you can add those into your cycles. You can say throw in a groin stretch, do your splits and that can help a lot. Um, maybe a butt stretch, legs crossed over each other. You can also throw in cycles of push-ups, pull-ups, sit-ups, or squats to supplement it and give you some muscle building. So I'll just do some push-ups, say. My full minimalist setup can do anywhere kind of routine that I like to do to keep fit. I'll do one mile run for energy and improve my cardiovascular strength. I'll do 30 push-ups, 30 sit-ups, 30 pull-ups, and 30 squats. All body weight, don't need anything but a bar for the pull-ups. And if I don't have that, I'll just skip that for the day and get that back another day. And then I'll cycle through different stretches like that while I'm watching a video or something. So it's very relaxing cycling through those stretches and it's very easy, so I recommend it, and it improves your life a lot, so go for it. Um, with pectus carinatum, you're gonna have a lot of back tension and body pains and tension in general. Stretching is probably the number one thing you can do for that. Guys, why is posture so important? Posture is super important because it dictates how people are gonna perceive you in life. So posture and your opening up of your chest expanding of your body actually indicates dominance within different primates so gorillas monkeys chimpanzees they all they all use better posture to indicate higher levels of dominance and this is actually the same for humans having better posture overall is just gonna make people see you as more competent more confident and they're just gonna like you better in every way People are gonna respect you more, they're not gonna take advantage of you as much. So if you're going into a job interview and you have a hunched over shoulders, they're gonna assume you're less competent than if you don't. So that's just the reality of it all. Uh, if, you're, if you're a straight male and you want a girl, they're gonna be more attracted to you if you have better posture. People aren't even gonna know that that's the reason that they're seeing you different but it's just a subconscious thing that affects everybody, all humans, how we see other humans and how we read them. So with pectus carnatum, that's a massive struggle and challenge and potentially disadvantage unless you take care to work on it. We're naturally have, gonna have worse posture and people are always gonna read that as lower confidence, lower confidence, lower dominance and if you don't take care to improve your posture, then you will be missing out on a lot. So work on your posture, guys. Okay, guys, one last bonus stretch. If you made it to the end of the video, a little bonus for you guys, you made it to the end of the video. So you're gonna wanna put your arms back on the wall, 90 degree angles, and you're gonna make sure this part 
and this part both touch on the wall and also your spine is on the wall and you're gonna put it down like this and you're gonna raise it up all the way while keeping contact on the wall with these two points the whole time and then you're gonna raise lower it back down here and that you can feel that working back there and structuring your posture as you do it so just do like 10 reps of that and then cycle through to the next thing you can throw that exercise into your cycles if you learn something new and want to watch more videos like this click like and hit that subscribe button to support this channel thank you so much for watching peace